Hey guys, Justice Curry here. I have probably one of the most exciting episodes. Uh, I brought in a resident expert, Jason Boonstra. How are you doing? Thank Good you. For coming. Nice to see you again. The last time we did a video, it was for the Star Wars one where we had Kyle. Oh yeah. And we had some amazing times. I'll put a link right here. If you want to watch some fun times regarding vintage Star Wars toys, check that out. Amazing. What are we going to talk about today? Sectors. Sectors. A the brave, the bold, and the fearless stand with Dargon. The brutal and cruel attack with Spydrax. These are the Sectors, the warriors of Symbion. The obscure line kind of fall into the supernaturals, visionaries, Very just much stuff so. that was not. I mean, they were mass produced, but not mainstream like the other toy lines right. I just mentioned. Right. Um, and we're going to dive into some, not just production figures, some fun stuff. Pre production. What are pre production, you may ask? Well, you have, let me show you. Production. So this is Sectars, and this is the packaging. You may remember seeing it in the, in the stores when you were a kid. And you had basically what a, a bug creature. Uh, what would you call him? You have riding bugs, which a few of them had to ride on the puppets, and then you had companion bugs, which were like a little sidekicks, and then you had your main characters. Gotcha, gotcha. And I plan on Jason's got the full line of production figures, and I plan on doing a video in the near future. But when I had him here. He is like the resident expert and high-end collector of pre-production, one-of-a-kind amazingness, like stuff that belongs in a museum. And I've talked about pre-production stuff in past videos of some He-Man and G.I. Joe stuff I have. And I just love, just like you, because otherwise you wouldn't have it, oh, the connection. Like, what what uh, drives you to having pre-production? There's no other place to go with it. Um, yeah. The Sectors was a very short-lived very short cartoon, small comic book run uh, toy that just died off. Yeah. We didn't know much more about it. it had five episodes on a cartoon. Five. And yeah, that's it. Um, and then a short run, maybe one, two years of action figures, and it was gone. Yep, yep. And collectors still love them. I mean, there's some hand puppets. Can you grab that one right there? Uh, you may remember some of the riders, like you, you had a puppet hand, like here's, we don't have one right here. Inside, you'd put your hand, and your hand would fit in there, and then you could control this tarantula with your hand, and then the actual rider would sit on top there. And this one here has wings that go on it, and the, it's battery operated, so the wings would flap. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. And something's a little special you showed me earlier because you pulled mine uh, off the back of my couch and you're like, oh, look at it, I like this. And you showed me something kind of unique on, on back, it. Just to show as we're talking about pre-production production pieces, even though this is a first series. It's going to be very difficult to see this, but take our word for it. The series. What this does it say? It says Seven Towns, Coleco, you know, Patent Penny, 1984. Yep. And then this piece here that I brought to you is sleek no makers marks on there it's a prototype it's a prototype and i keep talking about prototype pre-production these are things that are made that might not make the major we're going to be showing you some one-of-a-kind things that never were produced mass produced and then we're going to show you some of the processes like sculpting of it the wax sculpts or test shots what they call so they have to test the molds they're not going to just go all right we got it it's perfect and then start mass producing millions right. of these they want to make sure it's right they want to see if there's going to be any errors in the mold or any uh you know so, oh this doesn't look right we need to send it back before we dump some super big money into it because they're not in the business of losing money no. they want it to look nice but this was just one of the examples of, um, of pre-production now let me let's just start showing different pieces okay um Here's, here's one that caught my eye immediately. What can you tell me about this? That is Spider Flyer. That is um, and that's a all right. mold or uh, a resin mold. It's hollow. So what 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 did this go for? Or was it on one of these? That's these what, guys? Originally what it was 
intended for. It's just a, a copy of what it would look like as production came forward. Yep. It's yep. Obviously, the eyes too big. There are teeth on it now that are no longer on the figure or on it. Oh. So did this make production? Did this set piece make production? It's just different than what we see it. And his name was Spider Flyer. We'll edit this piece out later. <laughs> Remember, and and this happens to me all the time. Like when Jason and I did our one of our videos, I was like, "This is a Yugoslavian bootleg Star Wars figure," and then people are like, "That's Polish bootleg." And I'm like, "When you're on the spot and you're talking, that'll come to me." Yeah, it, it'll come to me. He's gonna be laying in bed tonight and go, "God, it was <laughs> Mosh Pit Man or something like right. that." Um, oh, and it's hard. Like, I'll forget, I'll see relatives that I've known my whole life and be like, hey, uh, forget your name. Friends. I do that with friends. You did that with me earlier. You went, hey, Jason, I mean, Justice. What? What's your name again? Um, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tell me Second what series, this is. Unproduced Spider X as in night fighting. So there was only one series, correct? One series made production. Okay. So the second series, they planned on pumping these suckers out. And then Coleco gave them a hold, and then they were went to the wayside. And you're saying Coleco? I know, I know what it means, but people might go, "Well, Coleco Vision, Coleco Video Games. Why are you mentioning Coleco? That's not Mattel. That's not Coleco better. Company. The Coleco Company made Cabbage Patch Kids back in the day. They oh. made a bunch of different things besides the handheld games. They also made sectors wow so they had the rights to these so this was a series two and it's it's hard to tell how many of these actually exist yes, there's i really don't know how many in existence there are on you know not the, like test pieces but the original runs before they make production right toys are made how they played with how do they look they take pictures of them yep and there's you know, they got from wax or something, so they could could have been standing up. These, standing up, these they glued it or something. Could have been this hot glue or something on the bottom. The figures that they took pictures of. I don't know. Absolutely. Because yeah, because the they chain of command and how I came across these gets lost. Yes. Yeah. The story kind of does get yes. lost, and that's why we want to show you guys. Because I mean, most of this stuff is not shared on Facebook. Is not shared on different forums. I mean, there may be a few things here and there. But it's difficult to find, and that's why I wanted to document this and get it in front of you. And go, look at this is awesome. This is like taking a tour through the S Smithsonian, you know, Definitely. of Definitely. sectars. Uh, now that I have you, one of the, the bugs. Yep. Oh my gosh! So the flyers, the, the hand puppets, you know, the wings would go on there, and, and with the automated yep. batteries in the back, and the, the wings would flap. Yep, there was two that had wings that flew. And there, or there was two that was battery operated, and there was two that was not. And so you got some uncut, like, and there's, they're translucent, obviously, I mean, you can see through them, but they also have that shimmer, like a real butterfly. Like a, like a yeah, like a, a beetle, or a beetle wing. Yes. With, you know, when you, when you, it bounces off the light, so you're seeing greens and purples and yellows and, and some orange, and, and they broke. Yes. Yep. I mean, if I bent this. Crack, yeah, they, they crack, crack immediately. Yep. And these are in the hands of kids. Yep. Kids. So you have like, look at, look at, I'm going to make it rain with. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Pick that yep. sucker up. Show like, the camera. Here's a prototype of Body Ball. It's a second series figure that never made production. There are other versions of him that are, the production version would have been yellow. How do you know it would have been yellow? There are pictures. Okay. You have pictures. Of one that is yellow. Yep. That is painted and what would the second series would have looked like if they would have made production. So, you know, this could be one of a kind. This, there could be three of this kind of figure. Yep. And then maybe they made five, ten of the, the painted versions, um, like you said, for the magazines. To, and this and, one's a little trick. Oh, he Roll goes into up. a... Look at that! Into a ball. He's a... Oh, look at Pill this. Here, here, show this. Let me get this. Jack this up. Holy it's like a pill bug, and he would roll. That's wow. what he's. That's his little mechanism. That is so neat, man. He'd have a gun and a shield, and. Yep. 
and he and I see that he kind of comes apart. Yeah, because, the rubber bands have deteriorated. But after these time. these are like real rubber bands. These aren't <laughs> production <laughs> no. No. <laughs> rubber bands. No, this was held together the best they could with what they had, but or you, how they did it back then. And you had a guy our age, you know putting this together, oh, molding yeah. it, involved in the process. Have you met any employees involved? Or not met or, or communicated? Just, just Tim Clark, a guy who originated sectors. I talk with him every once in a while, I'll hear and there a question, but I've made friends with a couple different ex Coleco employees, sculptors, designers, or whatever, and talked to them about a few different things. Nothing, I don't want to bother, I haven't bothered anybody yet. Yeah, yeah, and and I know from you know my He-Man and GI Joe pre-production community, it is very difficult to find this stuff. It doesn't, yeah, you know, pop up on eBay all the time, or or if it does, you got one opportunity, and you may not be that person that was looking at right. the right time to to drop serious money. Because I mean, what's it worth? Well, you don't have any examples to show it. It's how much someone's willing to pay. This is exa perfect ex example of collecting. What's it worth to you? Yes, exactly. And some guys, deep pockets, like in the Star Wars pre-production, I mean, they'll drop 10 oh, grand. More! That's nothing! I it's mean, who's got what, and they'll I drop try serious money. It's and, fun to take pictures and look. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and luckily, this is more of an obscure, so there might be only five people hunting this kind of stuff that and are like you. And that makes it a, a lot harder, too, because it's right time, right place, where there's not a lot of demand, because there's not... A lot of diehard collectors a lot of people have forgotten about the toy line every once in a while you run across them but you're like oh i remember those because it's so obscure it is it is but it's it's also when you look at it you go oh my gosh i remember that yep um but if you didn't own it you won't have a sentimental attachment to it right so you know it's kind it's like of you can't things. forget about star wars it's everywhere you everywhere go. you can't forever forever what about this guy i'm gonna be a little careful with him that's one of the play sets that was never made. Play sets? Did they make any play sets? No. No, they made, yes, they made the hive. Oh, yes. Was, the hive is massive. It's like the Castle Grey Skull. Yeah. Or it's almost more like Eternia for He Man. Um, so this was a little kind of bug. It's just called cross, or, uh, Crossbow. So he had a little. Plundry art. Yep. Yeah, that would go in there. And these are non-production colors, because I highly doubt if it was no, not, released, yeah. they wouldn't have used this, you no, know. I don't believe it's at all pr production color. There's not even a born-on date on it, and like some of, a lot of the other stuff is. And people wonder, like, why is, you know, why is it a weird color? Why are some pre-production? Because they didn't care. This was just get the molds out. Whatever cheap plastic that they had, color-wise, right. they would put it in there and maybe make a contrast so it would look... You know, a lot uh, cooler. Yeah, it would look cool, and then they would get it back and go, "Okay, what do we need to fix?" Uh, okay, and then they would figure out the colors and, Most definitely. and what would appeal to children. Um, but yeah, that's that's neat. Shoots out. Did I did I break this? Already? No, no. Nope, okay, nope. that, that, <laughs> that piece has bro been broken. It's the way I got it. You should have said yes. <laughs> Where is it? And I'd have spent the next two years looking for it in here. My cat just it just cat ate it. it. And other stuff I've got, like, um, a good dimension here, which is another big sought after for even non-sectors collectors, which is the Stellara, the only female fate made in this line. Oh, my God. So, yes, there was no... How many... You And, of course, you may not know this because I'm putting you in the spot. How many production different male figures did they make? Well, there's only males. Production, I would say... Three, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna guess at twelve. I'm not sure. People always production do that to me. Like production, probably. How many GI Joes do you have on your wall? I'm like, I don't know. I like well, them. I don't. Only, is this, only, this is a test. There's only so many. Pop so quiz. Close, <laughs> Zach, Mantor, uh, Dargon, <laughs> Vince are in the first one. So four. I want to say eight. Kill me. You eight actual, that. Eight Final actual, answer. Eight, you want to phone a friend? Eight actual production. Eight. You heard male it. Eight. Figures. Well, there's only male One figures. One female. And this is pre-production, which is her second series. Yes. So this means in the, in the comic book, there's full of female figures. Right. Yeah. yeah. I believe the, the leader of the bad guys, Dark Dark Domain, ah. is a female. This is freaking insane. Because one, two, 
I mean, I, we know for sure one exists because we're holding I it. I know. I prob there's probably at least ten. Okay, gotcha. Oh my gosh! But you have another piece of her yeah, as I have well. Yeah, another piece. It's a it's a it's a sample piece. It's like like we said earlier, we're molding. They mold in different colors because it doesn't really matter. Yep. Where this was either a mold test or a you know production test. And this is that same piece, yep. not sonic the welded. And There's the connectors the for her legs and her <laughs> arms. And that's Look the piece. Those abs. How do you get abs like this? It's a shell. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, armor. it's armor. It's but, armor. He's, and then this is like, also stop a sample piece. Stop asking me stupid piece. questions, Justice. Oh, it's a sample? Because this was non-produced. Yep. It's, it didn't go for any of the male counterparts. And it was in multiple colors, so it's got to be just a sample of the mold to see how it looked, how it looked, bent on the figure, if the yep. if the rubber was right. It could, I mean, it could be all, all kinds of different things. Have you chewed on it before? No, taste original though. <laughs> taste original. Um, <laughs> and you have some of the test shots for yep. the head, right? Yep. These are both of her. Still are, correct. And again, they mold it in some different colors, maybe to get the, the detail to shine out and go, oh, you know, there's a, a hollow spot there, or the hair looks wampus there. Let's uh, let's fix that. That's so neat. So these are hollow molds yep. for shots for, or however for they want to uh, paint. Say it. And here's two, again, maybe third series figures that were never produced. Not a lot of pictures of them, but this is Nat's eye, and I'm not sure who this is. Well, let's name them right now. What do you want to name them? <laughs> Google face. Google face. Google. Google face. <laughs> this Google. is googly eyes. This is googly eye face. He's been squeezed too hard. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yeah, these could be in third or fourth series figures. Look at they no put idea. his little diamond thing in, in the, the back because they all have what? What their are they call? The, their antennas. In oh, front. that's right, not diamond, but their antenna would click on to right there. Doot, doot. So his antenna was meant to be in the back, changing it up. Ooh. So you have multiple. That's skull. That's from uh, the first series. But yeah, I have multiple from different. This is also from the first. Zach. Because obviously, if you were to take a regular figure apart, like you took this figure, yes. production figure apart, they it would have wouldn't this... have this giant piece. It would have this nipple kind yep, of thing. Plunger piece on the bottom, and then there's a little hard plug that goes in there to keep it from pulling out of the shoulders. Right, right. And then see, there's two right there, three fifties, three nineties. And they all some... have mean something to this one. If you know what they mean, write to me at <laughs> PO Box nine seven three two five two. Um. Gosh, look at this. Look at eight five zero four zero two. It has it's the Enigma mold mold numbers right could be could be could be anything could be color mm -hmm. color numbers okay. you know we're gonna get some some hate someone's gonna go that is blah 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 I hope you so. guys aren't experts you I don't know so. hey you know what if we might trip over a name or, or stumble over this it don't matter we're here to have fun we're to share something that most people don't have and it's awesome we, we bonded you know I wouldn't hang out with Jason because I wouldn't. If it wasn't for my toys. If it wasn't for his toys, I use him for his toys. Actually, that's not true. I wouldn't know Jason if it toys wasn't for the toys. toys. It's these, <laughs> you know, I met him through one of my buddies, Travis, and they're, you know, in the same side of uh, Michigan. I shouldn't tell people where they live now. They're going to go hunt us down. What part of Michigan? We live in Detroit. We do live in Detroit. No one's gonna come to Detroit to come find us. <laughs> that's right. We live in Detroit. PO box. Um, Anyway, right, let's go. It's the choice. The next one. Yes, yes, yes. He's right. like, shut up, stop talking. Um, this is, uh, we'll, we'll jump right on to this guy right here. Oh. This is, this is Bandor. This is uh, hard copy. So nothing connects together. Again, for the folks at home, this was non produced second series figure, correct? Correct. It's pretty much everything I'm showing you, or we're showing, was not. Produce, um, you, no one would have seen this. Like, chances are, people watching no, this would you, go. Most most antique I've never seen toy this. shows or comic cons, you're not gonna find things like this. this no, this 
right now, if you're still watching, is for the diehards, the people that want to soak this information, to feel connected, to go, Justice Curry, I want to shake your hand someday because you touched a pre-production sectars. And this here, what you're touching now, is, produ is what the produced pieces that they made. This is a produced non-sonic welded bandor. Oh, so this guy was goes, produced. Nope. He was never manufactured to sell. Oh, okay, 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 I gotcha. So this was sonic welded this is, together. This is, this is cast. This is like, this is what they, the sculptors made before it went there. This is, oh, I stand corrected. I had no clue what I was holding. Wow. So that's the sculpted piece that they freaking yep. hand painted, painted yep. because that would have been all white. So they painted that. Yep. And then that's they had an understanding into the mold. So then this turn, they made a mold of this, to turn into this, then had the green from the paint and probably would have gave it a secondary paint possibly yep. to give it that brown hue. Wow. This is why you get the different colors in the arms. You get to see which color would have looked better. They wanted to go with the green, <laughs> oh the gosh. dark green, the light green, the dark green foot, the light green foot. Oh, and these yeah. weapons? Would have been for him too? Yep. And they're not reusing series one weapons, nope. are they? Man. That would be his whip and his shield. And by the way, if you there is his bandolier. If you people at home are going, what is this amazing table? This was handcrafted by my father. He made this in the seventies. <laughs> Literally put seeds and stuff in there and then put some what kind, kind of, of Caesar, though? epoxy. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I, I have no idea. My dad was a hippie. Um, and then we got the bandolier, and we got... Ooh. Wow. Color swatch, or however they... So, yeah, this would be the... Oh, okay. Whoa. So this... What have it, is that? Turns to that, yep. So again, this was like, hey, let's see if there's any errors in it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's mold it in black, because that's probably the color we'll go with. Because most of the weapons were that blackish color. Gold. Oh, they were gold. Gold, gray, silver. So it's, it, it changed up depending on, you know, on the different things, I guess. Gotcha. All right, we still have, oh, what's over here? Oh, uh, some of the wax pieces I have. Here's a wax sculpt. Yeah, back, of... back up. You're okay. using the word wax. Now, for the viewers at home that are like, not, what the frick are you talking about? Not wax like wax candles, not wax like paraffin wax or surfboard wax. This is a wax substance that they use to sculpt and make stuff. I mean, they still, I believe, do they still make sculpts yeah. of cars when they go to make a car? So what he's talking about, they have a chunk of wax, and then as he, he tenses up as I bring a knife over here, but what's they didn't have those 3D printers or whatnot. They had to literally take that chunk of wax, take a sharp instrument, yep. and scrape away each every groove into this gun that you have right here, because I'm sure if you just apply yeah, pressure, it would, it would snap, because it's freaking special wax i'm kind of shaking right now holding it yeah here's here here would be a, a stick or something where it snapped off from being molded yeah or cut however you want to do it oh this isn't wax that's wax okay. what do you mean molded well they're going to start somewhere and whittle away you don't just hold on to a piece of it and just keep oh that same was thing. like attached to say a vice or yep. something like that so it stays so, steady and yep. then can spin it or something yep and like this one here in my mind
mom. In which case, um, happy Mother's Day. Hello, Mr. Curry here. Well, I've exhausted all of my spamming on Facebook with my YouTube link. So, for this, this is an actual phone message that's going out to all my contacts. Um, I want you to type in Justice Curry on YouTube. That's J-U-S-T-I-C-E, and Curry is only one R. Go on there quickly and find one of Justice Curry's videos. Become a subscriber, and you'll have a chance guys. to win cash and prizes. I just to, uh, introduce <laughs> myself. Okay, then what?